Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new, I'm Leona. I have a service dog named Aries and a service dog in training named Athena. Um, today I thought would be a fun video to go ahead and do and it's what I pack for my dogs, um, both Aries and Athena, for an overnight trip. Um, I figured this would be really fun. Uh, I do want to preface this with I apologize if you can hear the kind of buzzing in the background. I'm working on dribble desensitizing with her. Um, so they're both eating right now, which means that I turn on the Dremel, um, just to kind of get her used to the noise. Uh, it's been a week of just her eating near the Dremel so she can get used to the weird thing and then just turning it on to the lowest setting where she can go ahead and just get used to eating near the sound, um, and associate the sound with a positive thing. Um, if anybody wants to see a video on how I introduce the Dremel and desensitize to the sound and everything, go ahead and comment down below and I'll film it. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get into this. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do is just write out a list. You can't really see, but this is Athena, Aries, both, and then I'm over here. I'm not going to just like share what I'm packing for myself. Um, so this is just like everything I need for her. I wrote it on my mirror. Um, so that it's easier to see. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and pack all that up. Um, so I know some people are gonna decide I'm crazy, but as I said, this is packing for two dogs, um, and one of them's a puppy that needs quite a bit of stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into this. Okay, so first off, I like to pack their food, of course. So there's Athena. Um, and Aries, so we're just going to be there for long enough for them to eat two meals. But yeah, that's the two of them. And I just like put those down at the bottom. Uh, I just pack like a backpack for them. Um, next, I like to do our meal toppers. Um, so this is the freeze dried beef recipe by True Beast. Um, I know, like in another video, I said I don't support them. I still stand by that. I really do not support X Dog. Um, and there's a lot of reasons why if you want to know like you can message me on instagram and i'll let you know but they like basically we had this already before i pulled my support and i don't want to just throw it away because i spent a decent amount of money on it um so they're gonna use it and then i mean like i haven't bought anything else from them obviously um along with that we do a couple of other toppers and then their medicines and treats and all this kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I just kind of threw everything in a pile. Okay. Okay, so then we do this canine candy meal topper. It's the beef and seafood blend. Um, I really like them as a company. They're really good. I honestly feel that they're comparable to Real Dog Box, um, whom I still support. I still have stuff from them. I'm actually bringing stuff with me it's just not in the first little bit um so it's just like they're another company that I think is really good as far as like getting some extra for between boxes um so next I have the canine candy death bites we give these more as a treat and sometimes I mix them in with their food um it just kind of depends and then there's smelts um for the omega threes because that's really good for them and that we mix in with the whatever comes with our real dog box um and then i have beef lungs in here all of which are really good next we just have the slippery elm powder they don't get this every night they just get this if they're showing any signs of upset stomach which she is currently um i'm gonna see how it's doing tomorrow obviously and then decide from there if she needs it but i want to pack this um as a like just in case um and then we have Aries is just his stomach meds he's just on pepsid um this is something that got recommended for his acid reflux and then they get hemp oil as well I plan on switching him mostly over to CBD um and weaning her completely off of this uh but he's on it for his seizure activity um and reading into stuff more and everything I realized I'm not like familiar with everything so I didn't know exactly how it works but I realized hemp and CBD are very different and the vet had actually recommended CBD not hemp oil but I've noticed this does help a little bit as well as bringing her in and easing the stress on him. Athena and easing like the stress and mental activity he's doing. So 
yeah so like as I said like I'm going to transition him over to CBD and then she gets some right now just because she was on it um with her previous owners for her drive they wanted to try and like relax her and the vet said it was okay to keep her on it but I really don't want to dull her drive like I love a border collie's drive and I really want to keep that so I'm easing her off completely um so yeah next we just have a couple of chews so I have the cabrito feet from the Real Dog Box Secret Shop. Um, these are like their baby goat feet. I'm sorry if anybody's squeamish. Um, I'll try to remember to put a trigger warning in when I'm editing. Um, and then I have their duck heads, which are also from the Secret Shop. Um, I'm bringing these along because I like to give them their chews and then also like I'd like to give Belle some because we're going home to see my grandparents and Belle. Um, Next, I just like to pack an antler for each of them. These are from Chewy Paws. Um, I'll try and leave their website linked in the description box. This one's Aries as he's chewed it a lot more than Athena's chewed hers. Um, but they started out exactly the same size. Um, so these are just the split, like half split elk antlers. Um, they're really good. I like them for them. They seem to enjoy them. And I know where they're coming from because they're very open with like how they source and everything. Um, Next is their Kongs. Um, so this is Aries and that's Athena. I like to give these to them like at bedtime or if she's spending a bunch of time in the crate. Uh, right now she's just got another antler and a Nyla bone. But yeah, these are really good, especially like when it's time for like time for bed and she's gonna be in there for a while. Um, it's just kind of introducing her to the crate and positive associations. Next, we have their toys. So I just brought this, like I'm bringing this little Christmas tree toy. It's from PetSmart. We got it from a friend for Christmas though. Um, and then this like stuffingless beaver, this monkey toy, which is Aries' favorite toy ever. He adores it. Um, I accidentally bought it. Um, this zebra toy, which was in my puppy supply haul and this squirrel toy from PetSmart that they both really like. Um, okay, and then a tennis ball, just because it's really good for him. Um, next, I'm just bringing grooming tools and some, like, grooming supplies. Um, the tools are more for Belle because I'm planning on doing a good grooming on her when I get home, just because she needs it. Um, it's been a while since she's gotten, like, a solid good grooming. Um, so this just has um, a comb and then thinning shears, curved like curved shears and straight scissors um, for grooming and then a cloth. Um, so yeah, I really like these. They work great for us. Um, they're definitely not top of the line grooming tools. Like I wouldn't go professional with them. Obviously, I wouldn't go professional. Period. I'm not very good at grooming. But I'm able to do it for my dogs and for, like, friends' dogs. Um, and then I just have these Burt's Bees wipes, um, the hypoallergenic wipes. Um, they're good for travel. Uh, I bring them in case it rains because I think we have a chance of rain Tuesday morning and possibly Monday night. Um, so if they go outside, I want to be able to just, like, wipe their paws when they come in. Um, so with that, I then have their long lines. Um, so that's Athena's, and then that's Aries's. Um, so they're not out of, like, hers isn't out of the package yet, just because we haven't had a day where I could go out and comfortably just let her out, like, let either of them out on a leash. Um, it's been, the weather's been really janky, and we had a dog that went out and messed up their dew cloth with the mud, and I just, I'm not okay with, like, running the risk of them injuring themselves out there. So I've just been letting them, like, run in here um it's definitely not the same it's definitely not my preferred way but like opening my bedroom door and then letting them have access to the my bedroom the living area and then i mean the bathroom um they seem to be okay and then a lot of mental stimulation um next i'm just bringing okay um, next is like gear stuff, so I'm bringing their raincoat. So this is Aries's. It's his new one that I just got him. It fits like better as far as the back goes um, because the other one was really short. 
Um, but yeah, this one I just got off of Amazon. It's heavy duty. And then this is Athena's. I bought her just a cheap one on Amazon because I know she'll outgrow it <laughs> in no time. Um, which speaking of, she's almost outgrown the girth already. But it's okay. I'll just add some Velcro to it for now and then replace it when she seems like she's about to outgrow the back. Um, yeah, so that's why I said, like, I just got her a cheap one that would work as far as keeping the rain off of her so I don't have a stinky dog. Um, next, I'm just bringing a uh, harness. This is, well, it was Aries's, but I'm bringing it for Athena because it fits her. It's just the mitten burgundy one. It looks really good on her. Um, I really like it. Uh, this is just, like, her backup. And then for Aries, um... I'm bringing this one. This is his service pup seek with his Apollo 09. This is going to be his like permanent setup and then his backup. I'm thinking I'm going to bring. Actually, I know which one I'm going to bring. Okay, so for him, I'm just bringing this one. It's by Crescent Cookie Company and we're testing it. They don't sell harnesses yet, so don't go to them and ask about it. As I said, we're just testing it out. Um, so far I really like it, as I, like, I've told her the couple of things I'd change, but for it being her first harness, I'm really impressed, um, and I don't mind, like, putting it on my dog. Obviously, I'm not going to use it for mobility, um, but it does come in handy as, like, a backup harness or one for, like, when it's raining, and I don't want to mess up one of his good ones. And then Athena, for her, like, permanent setup, the thing that she's going to wear every day, um, is just her Apollo 09. And then I'm going to bring their like outside grubby leashes. I mean, just kind of like four walks. Uh, so this is Athena's, it's just a pink nylon. And then I walk her with a star mark um, just because it really helps. Uh, she doesn't use this every time, but I do like to bring it. So I have it, especially because she's, you know, she's still learning the proper like heel position. Um, she knows how to heal, she knows the general heal, but she's learning the actual position. And then for Aries, I just have this black paracord one. Um, and then his traffic lead on prong. Um, this one's Aries's. It's, it's good quality. I like it. Uh, we got the traffic lead and a prong, and then, or the traffic lead and a giveaway, and then the prong is a Mueller. Uh, if anybody knows where to get a micro Herm Springer, please leave the link down in the comments. I haven't been able to find him one and I really want to upgrade him to a good quality one. Uh, and then Athena, I have a hands-free, my trusty hands-free leather leash that I adore. But as I've said in every video that I've shown this in, Amazon took it off. Um, so I have no idea where to get another one. If I could find it and link it, I would so do it. Um, and then this Holden Scott dog gear leash wrap, it just says be patient. I'm learning on this really pretty, like, shimmery fabric. It's not hollow, but it's pretty. And then her prong, which is just a Herm Springer, I think she's the 2.5. Um, yeah, and as I said, that's just kind of like cleaning up her position right now. Um, her heel, uh, she has the... Okay, so she has, like, the general idea down solid. She stays next to me. The problem is she doesn't, like, she doesn't know the exact thing. So it's mostly, like, cleaning up, like, exact position next to me I want her in. Um, so it's a lot of that right now. And then Aries just works in his prong. It's, he associates the prong with working more so than he associates the vest because I switch his vest and harness a lot. And then there's days where he goes out and works naked. Um... The whole point of him being on a traffic lead is I can drop the traffic lead and over half the time he works off leash, um, not like I should say off leash because I dropped the traffic lead. Um, so the prong isn't a he needs it, he doesn't need it at all, but I will say it is kind of a band-aid where if he does need it, I have it and I can use it. Um, next is just the e-collar. Um, my remote's over there, and I'm not going to get up and get it right now. I use the Pet Trainer. I really like it. Um, it works great. I have trust issues as far as a mini educator goes. Um, if you don't know about them, then I'm sorry. Um, and if you like mini educator, then go for it. But as I said, I have trust issues. Um, 
so yeah I just use this um, I mostly I use it for Aries right now um, for off leash because I'm converting him over to an e collar over a prong because this is a little easier to hide um, and I'm kind of fed up with the comments I get so that and then not quite lastly but I'm just bringing her blanket um, so she has something to sleep on over there and then their medical records um we're going to our usual vet but i do like to have these um this is athena's first trip to this vet so they need like her shot records and all that kind of stuff and then i just like to have aries so that i can update it and all that so that just goes in the back back here um so yeah i think that's everything um i do have like this is a little TMI, and I'm sorry if this is squeamish. I have the bag for collection for him because they do want to check fecal and urine, like, run tests on it and see if there's any other underlying problems that could be causing the seizures. Um, so that's there. I'm going to collect them probably tomorrow so that it's fresh because that's what they want. Um, so, yeah. Sorry to anybody that didn't want to hear that, but you got to uh so yeah that's that and then before i get any comments asking about it i don't bring their food bowls from here home because we have food bowls at the house for both of them as well as water um we made sure we had extra bowls for them they're not the slow feeders but both of them know how to eat out of regular bowl, like out of regular bowls they can safely i just enjoy using a slow feeder um for my comfort here uh, but for one night, they'll be fine with a regular bowl. Um, if we're home for, like, the weekend, then I do bring their slow feeders with me. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, I hope this helped anybody that was looking for, like, what to pack or, like, an idea of what to pack or anything like that. Obviously, I'm a little overprepared, um, and I've definitely packed more than you need. But then again, I have stuff in here for three dogs because I have some stuff I'm taking home for Belle and then I have the stuff for the two of them so it's a little different than packing for one dog like this there would be half this stuff if I was packing for one dog um less than half if it was just Aries but that's just because Athena needs certain things and then Aries is on medicines and you know Athena is still a growing puppy so she needs certain supplements and all this kind of stuff um I do give them like daily like vitamins and supplements and stuff uh, mixed in with their food but I make sure I have stuff here and at my grandparents so I don't have to bring those home and like bring them back and forth um, and then there's a couple of things I need to like restock um, but it also helps that I have like the meal toppers and things like that that add in certain vitamins um, so yeah Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped anybody. Uh, of course, if you have any video requests, um, leave them down in the comments. Um, I'll take them. I plan on filming as much as possible and uploading as much as possible. Currently, I'm trying to upload at least once a week. Um, let me know if you guys prefer Mondays or Fridays or if there's another day you would prefer because right now I have it as Mondays at 8 a.m. But obviously I can like change that if you guys would prefer a different day for uploading. Um, you know, if you want more uploads, less uploads, all that kind of stuff. Just let me know all that in the comments down below. Um, any video requests, of course. And if you guys like prefer a type of video better than another video. Um, so yeah, anyways, that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoy and bye.